record. Hey guys, it is Thursday. It's the it's getting close to the end of the month. Again, I don't know what day it is because I never know what day it is. Uh, but it's Thursday. And I've got a few things to talk about and then I really want your feedback on how um oh what about the May um, five day prep and how all of that. So a few quick things that I want you to just kind of know about, be aware of, and then uh, maybe start trying out using. So one is Crowdfire. And that is a uh, Instagram. It's an app that you can put on your phone. It's for Instagram and it's um, to help you grow your Instagram um, like followers. I posted a link to a short video about it in our team page and I upgraded for $5 and I've grown over a hundred followers since I upgraded and that was probably like, and I've used it probably about five good days. I went from, I guess I've grown almost 200 followers. Um, Cause I went from like in the, like the high six hundreds and now I'm at like eight forty. So pretty good for the fact that, um, and it's super easy to use anyway. So if you're needing to grow your Instagram following and you're having a hard time doing that, go check out that video that I put in the team page called crowd fire. Like I said, for me, I have a Droid, so the upgrade was five dollars. Um, if you have an Apple phone, it looks like your upgrade is ten dollars. Yeah. But you can try it out um, without upgrading. But you know, there in our big team page, and if you're just brand new, then you might not. You know, this might not be something that you want to invest in. But in our big team page, they're paying a guy like two hundred dollars a month to help them grow their Instagram accounts. So for me, I'm like five bucks. Oh, let's try it. Like, you know, and, and it's helped me grow mine quite a bit. So, um, and it's super easy to do. So that's there. The next thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is Teamsy. Kristen, turn that down, please. Um, it's, it's called Teamsy, T-E-A-M-Z-Y. I'm going to share a, a video. It's a long video. Okay. So, um, but I think it's really, really good. And it's a way to track and organize your business. It comes with a free 30 day trial. It was created by, um, a beach body coach. So it's specifically for beach body. I would say go in, um, watch the video, see what you think. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, set mine all up and start my free 30 day trial and see where it goes. It does cost money. So if you're not making money, you might not be ready to invest in that yet. But it's something like keep on your radar because it's with the team price, because we'll get Micah's team price, it's $24.98 a month, which I know for me, that's still a pretty big investment in the business. Um, but, you know, like that's like half of a challenge pack. So if it helps up your challenge pack sales and it helps up your communication and it helps up like just being able to connect and grow your team, then it, you know, it will be worth it. And like I said, it might not be something that you're ready to invest in right now, but it's good to have on your radar. So maybe down the line when you're ready to, you know, invest a little bit more and you're having like right now where I'm at, I'm having a really hard time tracking and keeping up with everything. Um, so it's just something I want you to know about, you can decide, you know, whether or not it's right for you, but I think it's worth going and watching and then maybe trying out the 30 day, um, you know, a free trial. You don't even have to put in a credit card or anything like that. So it's not like it's going to, your 30 days is going to sneak up on you and then you're going to get charged. So I, I really like that. So that's just, those are just two things that I want you to know about. I have already shared the crowdfire, um, video it's like five minutes long it's super short and then the teamsy one i hopped on it live and it's pretty long but like i said i think it's worth watching listening to when you're driving or whatever and because even if you don't use the program he had a, a lot of really good like follow-up tips and things that he messages to people and how he messages people he messages and connects with like 15 people a day and how he does that quickly so even if 
you're not using that program because he's a beach body coach he still had a lot of good tips and tricks and things like that that you could take notes on and write down that I thought were like I've got to go back and listen to it again because I was like I was bathing Rylan and doing a whole bunch of things and I was like oh that's really good oh I need to write that down oh I like the way he said that or whatever and so I just think it's a really good training for connecting with a lot of people in a short amount of time and then I think the program is really worth um, you know looking into okay so those two things okay so Haley now you get to help me on the dates because I cannot remember and um, okay so we are doing a leaders retreat and it's a diamond leaders retreat and it will be for the third quarter so it, we're, I'm, we're looking at booking, and I've, I've been working on it. It'll be in Texas, um, most likely New Bronzeville's, near the New Bronzeville's area, um, November 4th, 5th, and 6th, I think. It's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and so that, I mean, that's, Haley, do you remember when the qualification day was, when we wrote that down? when they had to start qualifying and then hold it, it was like October. Yes, it was October. It was like, it, well, the end of, it was like October 26th was the date to have qualified for by. You had to start and then hold it for six more weeks or is that the day you had to have that was at the end of the six weeks? Uh, I'm trying to remember I think now. That's the day you had to no, I, it, it I'm was not sure. you had to hold it. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, here's the here's the big thing. It's it's like ninety days away. It's three full months. It's um, June, July, August, and I think you have to start qualifying in September and hold it until October. And I'm not one hundred percent sure on the exact dates. Yeah, it's like middle of September. To the end of October, so start qualification starts to the middle of September. Yeah, so the second or third week. So basically, you have like three full months to hit a diamond goal. So even if you have this many coaches underneath you, absolutely zero. If you don't have a single coach, it is super, super, super doable to hit diamond in ninety days. Okay, it's very, very doable. Very doable. Here's the thing: you have to be diamond. And even if you hit your diamond before, you have to still be diamond and then hold your diamond for six weeks for that six weeks qualifying period to qualify for the retreat. The retreat is paid for. The only thing you'll have to pay for is your um, travel expense. Okay. So getting to the location. I, like I said, it's going to be in Texas. So a lot of us can probably carpool if you're in the area. Um, we're, we'll be doing this with Alyssa's team as well. She's in San Antonio, but a lot of her coaches are out of the area. So some of them will be flying in. My car seat's five. Um, I will be bringing baby Adeline. So if you've got a nursing kid, they are welcome to come. Um, we're going to have a photo shoot. I say as long as I'm not walking. Sorry. That's kind of where my cutoff is. Because once they start walking, they're in a lot of things. And they're less out of that baby stage. But as long as they're not really walking and they're still in the baby stage, they're welcome. I, I, I say they're welcome to come. If you are um, leery about where your kid is and the age, just, well, we can chat about it. I'm not like, I don't feel militant in my decision. Just, you know, I think we'll kind of know. I w I'm not going to bring Rylan. Okay. Like, it's gonna stay home she's big enough um, and the first time I left her she was 14 months so yeah it's a little hard but it's not a super long amount of time it is only two nights so um, okay so yes so we're gonna be doing um, so we're gonna have that I, th I think we're gonna try and put together like a diamond push group so if you want in that you want to push to diamond and the, I'll, we'll probably make that like a um, a six week to eight week maybe push group right before you need to hit diamond. So that will kind of help, you know, but like I said, it's really, um, it's really doable no matter where you are right now. Um, you, you can, you can definitely hit it. So that's all about 
you know, recruiting coaches and really talking about the coaching lifestyle and what it's doing for you. And guys, like, even if you're not making any money, even if you are making money, I don't hardly ever talk about money because that's not who I want to attract. I don't want to attract money hungry people. So you're not going to see me post a lot about income and things like that. You're going to see me post about like friendships and freedom and what it does for um, my mommy life. And before I was like, before I could leave my job, I just posted about like how excited I was to get to be able to spend more time with her and how I was, um, you know, I, I loved the community and the positivity of the group and things like that. So um, just, you know, there's lots and lots of things. If you're having a hard time posting about the coaching side, uh, we can sit down and chat. I made a little, um, I put it in the team page. I mean, in the Google Drive. I think I put it in the Google Drive. You made me a liar. Anyway, um, it's called like coaching breadcrumbs. Haley, is that in the, it's in the Google Drive, right? I think so. Cause okay. anyway, um, and it was just a list of questions basically to help you like brainstorm and think about ways that you can talk about coaching. I'm going to share you can see what I'm talking about, but I feel like if you go and, um, go out this, okay, so here's speech body. Um, maybe it's in the resources. I know it's in here. I just don't know if it's in coaching. Okay, breadcrumb your story is what it's called. Breadcrumb your coaching story. So basically I have six questions in there. But these are all things that like you can create like a post around. So how did you discover coaching? And like think about that as your root question. That's what you're going to share. And then, you know, you can do a flashback. You can do a two. You can share this in a lot of different ways. You know, what aspect of coaching drew you in? Why do you continue to coach? Why do you love coaching? And then like here's like list five things and create five paragraphs around each aspect. And each one of those things is a different post for a different day, you know? Um, how has your life changed since becoming a coach? You know, what would your life look like if you were no longer a coach? If it all went away, what would your life look like? Um, what would life be like? Oh, yeah, <laughs> already heard it. What would life be like if you weren't a coach, how would it be different? Like for me, I'd still be teaching. I would be working full time. I would come home. I'd be tired. I'd have laundry and teens and toddler to do, right? I wouldn't have any freedom. I wouldn't have the flexibility. I wouldn't get to just run to Target today or spend like half the day at um, Chick-fil-A and let my daughter play and do my coaching at night. Like I wouldn't have any of that. Right. I would still be in the classroom all day long. So just sharing those little things. But anyway, these are just questions to kind of ask yourself and you can go in and write out your posts or write out the answers to these ahead of time. And so then this week, uh, let me go to the calendar. You're going to be sharing about, if you go to our team calendar, Kristen, I need you to remind me to yeah. share this with you. Okay. Katie, you might be able to go in and share it because you have access to it. But in our calendar, um, month, I know, don't freak out. That's all of my stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, we're promoting for our coach, you know, promote coaching for live event. Our live event is going to be on Monday. So this week, you should kind of be promoting for that live event. And also, you know, so the last thing I wanted to share about is just um, converting your working to convert your current sneak peek people into challenge pack people. Okay. Because on Saturday evening, you need to have them out of the group. So sometime during Saturday, you're going to be, um, if they haven't purchased a challenge pack, then you, you take them out of our sneak peek group. Okay. So it's Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you need to make sure you're connecting, following up, um, asking them how, you know, what do they think? 
how are they doing, um, that you'd love to have them in the group for the next 30 days, and things like that. So with that being said, I want to open up the floor and see, you know, what do you think about the current May? This is the first time we've done it. So, you know, it's been a lot of like trial and error, a lot of like seeing what's working. And I, I just really will be doing this once a month. The second challenge group of the month will have this big sneak peek. Mm -hmm. So I just want, I just want to know, like, what do you guys think so far? Like, what are, how are you feeling? What are you thinking? What do we want to change? What do we love? And um, all of those things. I like, I just like that it's been free. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it, for people that were just really on the fence, you know, it's free. Why not just jump in and check it out? So I think that was appealing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think there's good content inside. Um, I like the personal videos at night and just everything we're sharing. Um, the format seems a little bit crazy inside, um, especially when we're adding people later on. It's like, Hey, start here. And then like, <laughs> so if there was a way to make it, um, cleaner and not, um, you know, but still have the, the amount of content that we have, I think it's good. It's just feels a little crowded inside to me. Do you think that's because there are too many posts per day? I don't think so because I mean, three posts is not a ton. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know that that's Do you think it. people are seeing all three though? Do I think they are? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've been trying to tag on all, all of them. I've missed a couple, but um, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Because right now, that they started getting lost when we started posting all the pictures of the food. Was yeah. when all the posts started getting lost. Because, uh -huh. like, I started losing where they all were once all these yummy food uh -huh. <laughs> pictures and stuff started coming up. I couldn't find the regular posts anymore. Okay, so what happened? So, the food and the workout album. It was an album and somehow it got separated into all these posts once we went and commented underneath. Did that happen with the workout pictures though? A couple of them. Okay. Not all of them. Only the ones, only the ones that were commented on where they pulled out. So basically we need to set it up to where you can't comment on those. So we edit the description instead of yeah, but you still have to, I think you, uh, said like maybe put the recipe like in the description of the picture and not a comment. Right. And, um, make the album to where people can't comment on the pictures, but maybe they can comment on the full album as a whole. Okay. Set up to no comment on pics. Cause I think if it hadn't split apart like that, it probably would be fine. Yeah, it would have been fine. It was all the pictures. It was just the pictures of the food that it, it was all I was seeing. I couldn't find anything oh, else. <laughs> and we tried to delete them from the timeline, but when we deleted them from the timeline, it deleted them from the album. Oh. So then it was like, okay, do we leave them on the timeline, on the wall, or do we just delete them completely out of the wall? And so it was just this like, I don't know. I'm thinking for next time, we, we create a file with all, like a file with all of the pictures in it. And then um, in like the, in the actual group where it's like files, workout pick, and then we just share that file and that file link. But I think then if you were to comment under each picture or things like that, it's not going to separate them out because it's in like that whole file. So that might be something that we try. Um, you could even do an album where you change it to where people can't comment on it. Yeah. We leave it as an album. That's true. The only thing is that if we want to like put the um, recipes and stuff under each one, whoever's posting it for that week is going to have to go in and retype that information every single time. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Which is a whole, I mean, like if you have to comment under 50 people's pictures, like, so when I posted the before and after transformation, I, I wrote a description and then I just put all of the pictures in. I would have loved to go under each transformation, say 21 day fix or after six weeks or after da, 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 da you know, but like that, you know how much time that would have taken me to like do all of that. And then I have to do that every single month. Um, right. Versus if we create a file, then we can just leave it in the group. Mm -hmm. And then when that post comes up, maybe we can just share the file and it already have all the information in it. So then we can put the recipes in the links. And the da -da 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 -da. So you're meaning like a document that shows the recipe or the picture in the recipe. Maybe, I don't know, we'll have to play around with it. And maybe there's a way to add an album to a file instead of adding, I don't know. Well, that's just something to brainstorm. Brainstorm a solution. And we can all kind of look at that and see if we can come up with any, but yes, I totally agree. It got a little chaotic, so, and it's, okay. Another thing um, is to put like, it was something that we thought, but then that wasn't communicated well and it just didn't get done every time, but like putting prep post, whatever number in front of each one. So that way they, if they miss one, they can go search it. Um, so I went back and changed all of them okay. to where it says prep post. So if they search prep post, like it should say prep post should be like one through 10 or one through 11 now. Okay, perfect. So they should, it should be fine. Okay, good. Because I wanted that to be something that if they were behind or they wanted to go see if they missed something, you can go up to the search bar and if you type in prep post, it's going to pull up all those prep posts. We mm -hmm. did create it to where nobody could post on the timeline. So that way it's going to keep it a lot cleaner. Now, after our... Um, sneak peek we're going to open it up so people can start posting their sweaty subbies and their pictures and just like a regular challenge um you know 30-day boot camp so that everybody can start sharing and we'll do a little video about that like hey you know, on probably sunday down so like sunday, sunday is it going to start like the prep week this or is, is the prep week. great this is the prep week yeah okay. So they're going to start with programs. So if they're just now buying a program, it's not, obviously it's not going to be here, right? So right. we're going to want to help them activate their beach body on demand so they can start their workouts and they can start, you know, they can go ahead and meal prep and meal plan um, tomorrow or Saturday. And then, the, yes, ma'am. I was going to say, we're going to have to put up, I think the plan is to put up all the meal plans we have and everything after we take the free people out to do the normal prep stuff that we normally do. Yeah. So all the, all the recipes and everything that we normally give them, the normal meal plans will load once they're gone. Okay. So I, I mean the, the additional stuff. Right. right. So I would say by 5 PM, pull your people out on Saturday. So make sure, make sure, like maybe even tonight or tomorrow, make sure you're sending them a quick message. Um, I would say like type up a message and then just bam, 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 shoot it off to all your people tonight. Just like a, hey girl, I just wanted to, you know, blah, 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 however you want to word it. Just a checking in message. And, um, and then that way you can follow up Friday and Saturday and then be pulling them out of the group on Saturday. So, and then I guess we'll just see how it goes. Like I said, um, you know, we've heard that there's pretty good, there's like, they have like 50% and one of the other groups, I don't know if ours is going to be this high this time. I mean, just because we're just figuring it all out, but I do think that it's probably the best free group I've ever ran. <laughs> I mean, as far as like content and just mm -hmm. info and so anything else that you want to say or anything else that you think needs to be tweaked or anything else that you just really, really like, like your favorite part. I like the bedtime stories. Me too. 
I think that's been my favorite part so far. I think that's something that everybody can really connect with. And I, I found myself looking forward to finding whose story is next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think those are, I hope everybody's really getting to watch those because I feel like, and I, when I when I'm kind of talked about that, I just feel like people relate, like there's an emotional connection. And I feel like right. the bedtime stories are that emotional connection that people really get because it's like, I think it shows us as real people. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. says like, hey, she's human too. She's not some super like human who doesn't ever struggle with anything. It's like, I like, and I think too, it's like, she, she gets me. Because I, I know personally why I became a coach is one of Tara Bilek's videos about being a teacher and like not wanting to teach anymore and wanting to be home with their babies and da 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 da. And I was like, oh my God, it's me. Like, you know, like that, that was like what sealed the deal for me because it was like, that's exactly where I was and that's exactly where I wanted to be. And like, that was my emotional connection. And everything else like made sense and everything else was like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is all good stuff. But then that was like, I'm doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that the bedtime stories are kind of like, they're hearing like the meat and potatoes of all of the good information. But I think that is going to be there. If they're going to have a moment that says, I'm going to do this. I feel like the bedtime stories are going to be that moment. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't you? Anyway, man, I love getting to watch your stories because like, some of them, I don't know, like the, all the stories. So if you, if you didn't make one for this, um, and this is to everybody, those of you watching, um, if you did not make one for this meal prep group, I, I would love for you to go make one. So that way we can yes. just your meal prep story in the next group. So, um, and you're, I mean, not meal prep. Oh my God, that's so late. Oh, I guess I can make a meal prep. Yeah. <laughs> your bedtime story. And that's just your, um, your fit, health and fitness story. So not so much about, I mean, and you can include some like your coaching or whatever, but like more of like, you know, where you were and like how you got here. And if you, if you haven't watched them yet, go watch some of the bedtime stories and you'll get a better idea of like what to share, but it's just your journey. It's just whatever path you've been on, whatever struggles you've had, how you've overcome them, all that good stuff. Okay. That's all that I have for you tonight. Like I said, I was trying to make it short and sweet and just, um, is there anything that you need? Any questions that you have? I will get the details of the leader retreat dates out on the team page uh, tomorrow or the next day, just so you know exactly you know what you're shooting for, and um, and then I will get the dates to where we're going, like the actual. So I'll get you the qualifying dates tomorrow or the next day. I'll have those out, and then when and where we're going i'll get those as soon as i can book it um right now it's looking like the first weekend of november that's what we're shooting for as far as the retreat goes we're trying to make it enough time for Alyssa's coaches to book their flights but not too close to thanksgiving because you know, you know it gets life gets hectic but um we do want to do something really fun and all of that oh last thing um, sorry, I know I said last thing. One more, one more. Uh, five minutes is what my daughter says. Um, Super Sunday. You want to be there. I post about it on the team page. It is Carl Deichler, our CEO, is going to be at Dallas Super. Autumn Calvary's is going to be at Dallas Super. If you have anybody interested in uh, country heat, because that's what we're going to be doing. And she's going to be leading it at super. So we've got any friends that, I mean, like if they can come, if you register between now and May 31st, it's $10. That's it. 10 bucks. And then it goes up to 15 and then it goes up to 20. And then if you wait till the last day, it's 25. They're trying to, you know, kind of get the early, you know, you get that early bird rate. <clears throat> it's ten dollars. It's in it, it's Dallas Super Sunday, but it's in Frisco, Texas. It's not in Dallas. And if you want a carpool, I'm an Anna. 
So, so you can go. If you want to come to me wherever you are. And we can carpool from Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it's okay. And in the past, it's been from like one to five. This one is in the morning. It's nine to two. Oh. Yeah. So that's another thing to think about. It's nine to two. Is it the 14th or 21st? Or is it either of this? No. It's in the team page. It's, I shared it in the team page. Um, it is. Can you pull it up? It is. I shared it and the link to register and all of that. Um, it's August 7th. The 7th, yep. Okay. It's August 7th, it's a Sunday. I know, I go to church every Sunday too, but these are the four Sundays out of the year that I do not go. Um, I go to Super, and I think God understands. Um, <laughs> uh, well, y'all love me. Uh, I, but, you know, it's a big deal. Um, anyway. Ten dollars so get registered come and then we'll go out to like a late lunch hangout whatever afterwards you don't have to come to the late lunch hangout afterward thingy but if you want I'll be getting food because I'll be starving and nursing and all of that Do you have Adeline with you, you think Adeline will be with me yeah okay. I was gonna say for any of you that have baby babies you can bring them too yeah I would say if they're not walking, they're, you're fine to bring them. I mean, people even bring their kids. They, they bring their, like, six- and seven-year-olds. I mean, they bring their kids. So it's not like you can't bring whoever you have with you. It's right. Just, you'll have to keep up with them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's just kind of where you're at as far as, like, if you want to sit and enjoy versus if you want to kind of half listen and half chase your kid around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we would we'd be everywhere she'd be on stage uh, <laughs> she put yogurt on her feet today guys okay just <laughs> on the dog on her feet like oh shit. really 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 i told her today at bath time i said i'm just so ready for you to go to bed <laughs> i was like i'm the mom of the year right now um Anyway, so yeah, she won't be coming, and we'll be praying that Adeline is not as uh, difficult as my first. Um, but she's lovely. She's so sweet. She's a hot. After she I'm like, turn trouble. <laughs> hug. Oh, give me a hug. I want to give you a sprinkle. No, I don't know. Haley, I know you can relate. Katie, you've been there. Ashley, you'll be on your way. Courtney, how many kids do you have? You just have the one? No, I have two. I have a nine-year-old. Okay, so you've been there. Five-month-old. You're still there. Oh, you're hitting the preteen yeah. stuff pretty soon. Well, that's going to be a lot of fun. Good luck with that. Yeah, you're going to have to, like, give us some wisdom. I know. <laughs> Is your nine-year-old a girl or a boy? I have two boys. You have two boys. Well, I can, I can give you wisdom on the Not the preteen stuff, but on the teen Teen boy stuff. I got two teens. Uh, well, I'm not thinking. Anyway, <sighs> okay, that's it. That's all I have. I'm gonna stop my recording because now.